This video will cover the topic, writing the equation of a sine or cosine function given its graph, problem type 1. In these problems, we will be shown a graph and told to write either the sine or cosine function that corresponds to that graph. Here are the general graphs for the equations y equals a sine bx and y equals a cosine bx where b is greater than 0. General sine graphs begin with an x-intercept at the origin and increase if a is positive or decrease if a is negative. General cosine graphs begin at a relative maximum if a is positive or begin at a relative minimum if a is negative. The amplitude of the given graph is given by the absolute value of a and the period of the graph is given by 2 pi over b. Let's take a look at an example graph and write its equation. The first thing we can notice is that if we look at a single period, the graph starts at a maximum rather than the origin, which tells us that this is a graph of a cosine function. In order to find a, we must look at the amplitude. We see that the amplitude is 3 because the graph has a maximum of 3 and a minimum of negative 3. So the absolute value of a equals 3, which means that a is negative 3 or 3. Remembering the general graphs from earlier, since the graph starts at a maximum and decreases, this tells us a is positive 3. Now, in order to find the value of b, we must look at the period. The period of the function is the length of an interval in which the graph completes exactly one cycle. For our function, this interval is from 0 to 8 pi thirds, which tells us that the period is 8 pi thirds. With this equation, we can now solve for b. Now that we know both our a and b values, we see that the equation that describes the graph is y equals 3 cosine of 3 fourths x. I think that makes sense. Can we look at an example with sine? Of course. Here we see a sine graph. We know this graph corresponds to a sine function because it passes through the origin. We notice that the graph increases toward a relative maximum of 2, which tells us the amplitude is 2 and a equals positive 2. And I see that the period is 4 pi over 3 because the graph completes one cycle between 0 and 4 pi over 3, right? That's right. With this information, we can solve for b. Now that we know both our a and b values, we see that the equation that describes the given graph is y equals 2 sine of 3 halves x. Okay, so to write the equation of a given sine or cosine function, we must first determine which type of function the graph corresponds to. The equation will either be in the form y equals a times sine bx or y equals a times cosine bx. We can then use the amplitude and period of the graph to determine the a and b values and substitute them into the proper equation to determine our final answer. That's exactly right. Great work!